So hello everyone, Erica here. I'm going to be showing you guys how to do keyword research for a niche website. First thing first, you're going to need this uh, browser extension. It's called Keywords Everywhere. All you got to do is go to Google, type in Keywords Everywhere, and you select the first result, and it's going to get you to this page where you can click on this icon that says Add to Chrome, and you just select that. It's going to add the extension to your browser. Next, you want to go into Google and type in ubersuggest.oi and it's going to get you a bunch of results that you only need to select the first on the list. It's going to take you to this page and this is what we're going to be using to get our keywords and find the cost per click, the competition, search volume, and so on. Next, to get some ideas on to what you want to promote and what kind of niche you want to get in, uh, you can use the uh, Amazon website. And this website, all you got to do to get here is go to Google and type in Amazon bestsellers, and it's going to get you to this page. Now, when you're on Amazon, all you got to do is take some time, browse through the different categories, and see what's selling and what people are into and that's going to get you an idea as to what kind of niche to get into if you are into affiliate marketing and you want to build a niche website you need to use amazon just go into amazon spend some time browse through categories and see what people are interested in and you can use any one of these categories to select a niche and create your website around it. So once you have your browser extension installed, you can use this tool even on Google itself. So when you get to Google and you type in a keyword like health and select that, that is going to get you, if you look under where your search term is you have here it says volume your cost per click your cpc and your co your competition for that particular keyword so when you come down here also you see that at the re the related uh, related searches uh, section you see that these uh, phrases or these uh, questions they have uh, next to them the amount of searches per month how much uh, Google is paying advertisers or uh, receiving from advertisers for certain keywords and what your competition uh, is so you can use the, the keyword tool the keywords everywhere extension and just use Google itself to do your keyword research but I recommend that you use Uber suggest because it gets you uh, in depth uh, I don't know how you call it but you can you can search okay let's say we search for health and I'm just going to show you guys how to do this so you search for health and look at what came up you have okay when you click on this little arrow it says search in uh, google.com you can see your google trends and you can expand this keyword you also have here uh, your monthly search volume your cost per click and your competition for that particular keyword so once you click on the um, google trends it's going to open this box that's going to show you if this particular keyword is still getting searches um, you know presently so my company yeah, my internet connection is really slow today so it's not opening up anyway you can also use this expand this keyword uh, to open this keyword up and you're gonna see related searches to this particular keyword now you see we had healthy we opened up healthy snacks and it gave us 301,000 people are searching for this term every single month and the competition is really low but I usually don't go this high I always try to select the keywords that have uh, a minimum of uh, one one 
two two the the highest I, I select is three so once you get here you can see that you have healthy snacks for kids and that's 27,100 searches a month your cost per, per click is is high it's okay and your competition is you know it's high I wouldn't go for that keyword because you're gonna need a lot of uh, backlinks and and you're gonna work harder to have your site ranked in Google so you see these are now healthy snacks that is not a niche keyword if you want to break it down you see they they break it down for you in uber suggest when you expand the keyword now you can see other words, other key, other phrases for that particular keyword. You can also break this down and expand it and see, dig deeper and find uh, closely related terms for that particular phrase that you can target. Now, it's not opening up because the search volume for this phrase is fairly low, so Uber suggests it's not going to open it up now i think you get the picture as how this works you're gonna have to look at the next video guys so